Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in this video I want to show you how to set the Ethernet address of your PanelView Plus. Now the first step is to start at the configuration menu of the PanelView Plus which I showed you how to get to in a previous video. From there you want to select terminal settings and then from that menu you want to select networks and communications and then go ahead and select enter. From there you want to select network connections and then select enter and then select network adapters and then select enter and from here you want to select built-in ethernet controller and then select the IP address now at a minimum you're going to need an IP address and subnet mask that's compatible with the same subnet that your PLC or other devices that your panel view is going to talk to is on so your panel view has to sit on the same subnet as the devices it's going to talk to, whether it be a PLC or some other device. So once that's done, you can also optionally put in a gateway. Now if you have a router on your network, then you'll want to put in a gateway address. That way you can access the panel view from the other side of that router, maybe from your desk in the back office. In any case, once that's in, you'll also notice that the MAC ID or MAC address of the Ethernet card is listed here. This is the MAC address of the panel view Plus itself. And that's great for, uh, for reference purposes. When you're done, you want to select OK. And at that point, you're going to get a pop-up that tells you that you have to either cycle power or reboot the unit for the new IP address to take effect. So let's go ahead and select OK on that. Then we'll go ahead and click on um, Close four times in a row here to get back to the main menu. And at this point, we can reboot the panel view plus by clicking on reset and with that you're done you now have your ethernet address set for your panel view plus and now i have a question for you did you find this video helpful if you did please let me know by liking the video and if you'd like to see me produce more free videos like this on youtube then please let me know in the comments in fact if you'd like to help me reach my goal of making all of my videos ad free then please visit me over at patreon.com forward slash automation for as little as one dollar a month you can help me towards reaching my goal to make all of my videos in the automation blog completely ad free and with that said that's the end of this video until next time peace